Adela gang, it's your girl Adela and I'm back again with another video and today, 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 today as you're about to title I guess, I am doing another reaction video but this isn't just a regular freaking reaction video okay, I am going back to Sam and Colby because I love them so much and I really wanted to do a reaction video of this, I actually haven't even seen last week's video or this week's video. So I'm gonna do that right now. You know, I'm saying we're gonna react to it together. I'm gonna react to last week's and then I'll do another video of the next because there's like two episodes in it. Like, yeah, you get what I'm saying. But if you guys want to continue watching this reaction video, you know what I'm saying, make sure that you hit that subscribe button, join the daily game because we are literally, literally almost at 40 subscribers. We have one more subscriber left and we are gonna have 40 subscribers, you know what I'm saying? Thank you for everybody that has been subscribing to my channel. Welcome, you know what I'm saying? Welcome to my freaking life. Welcome to our daggone journey. We do this every single day. Well, actually, no, we do not post every single day, but you know what I'm saying? I do record my life every single day. Well, I try to, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I post <clears throat> Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So if you know you want to join, you know what I'm saying? Come on, you know what I'm saying? We're not mean, we're nice. So yeah, like I was saying, hit that subscribe button, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you turn your notifications on to get notified about every time that I post. Hit that like button, comment down below, it's for good vibes only, you know what I'm saying? Comment, you know what I'm saying, something nice. And maybe, just maybe, I might reply because I always reply back to all my comments. If I don't reply, I always send hearts to you guys, so yeah, you know what I'm saying. Also, check me out on all my social medias, it'll be at the end of the video, it'll also be in the description down below, you know what I'm saying? And also, while you're in the description down below, make sure you check out Sam and Colby. I will put them in the description, and I'll also put this video in the description, you know what I'm saying? So you guys can watch it by yourself. Maybe you want to binge watch them. You can't, you know what I'm saying? So this freaking intro is way longer than it should be, so I'm just going to get straight into this freaking video, you know what I'm saying? So let's just get straight into it. How do you guys feel about a trade-off? Is this going to sound called zero or no? It's actually the ruins of the silver line channel. Big Red might still be a... Lost vein of silver there in Sierra Gordo. Well, if you guys could find it, hey. Hey! It's right on top of Owens Lake, which is where Molly Stevens' shipwreck occurred with millions of dollars worth of silver. We're in the middle of a giant lake of no, right. of dollars of silver. It sounds ridiculous, but I'm having a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> I would go there. Friend, so this is the 900 foot hole that like miners would come up and down in this cage. It's almost like this like elevator. But if you look right next to the cage, hold the camera tight. <laughs> yes, I will. There you go. Oh, it's freezing. Wow, it's, it's so cold. cold. It's so cold. Dude, look how deep that goes. Dude, I can't. It is so deep. So look at that. Goes so far. This cage, this is what all the silver got pulled out of the mine with. When we talk about like this building is why Cerro Gordo is what it is, and this building is why LA is what it is, this cage is why this building is what it is. <laughs> She's his name is Nicholas. He's done. From now on, this cage is Nicholas. <laughs> <laughs> this is the original engine that they used to get people up and down. That whole thing, back in the day, was only 100 horsepower. I think about today, like 100 horsepower engine would be like, you know, be able to hold your hand. Mm -hmm. He was responsible for like making sure the guys didn't go down too fast. Like he would sit here and look at that, see that like dial? So they're 200 feet down, 400 feet down, 500 feet down, 700 feet down. You guess you better trust this dude, right? Because he's kind of right. right. Look at this. I'm break dancing. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> the door that we came through? Yeah. 
It's actually open. I don't know why. I didn't open it today, so. What the crap is this? Crap? Ah! Uh, Bobcat. Bobcat? Bob Bob yeah. Yeah. Bobcat? <laughs> Wait, so is there Bobcats in these uh, hills right now? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the mines? Yeah, in the mines. This is the zero level mine back here. Yeah. Huh. Is that just the wind? Has to be. That's a mine. That's a mine back there. Have you gone in that one? Uh, I have been to know a little bit back there. It's collapsed a little bit, so it's extraordinarily sketchy. Danger, unsafe mine, stay out, stay alive. Oh my god. Stay alive. Human love handle with care. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Is Wait, huge. that's a fridge. Wait. With a container. Why, why would it be stored? Have you ever seen this? I've never touched that bottle of milk. Oh, should I not have touched so this? <laughs> this it's might have held human blood. Why would they have human blood in refrigerators? They were about keeping blood here. Oh, there's bats! Do you see that? No, I don't. I don't see them crying. It's so pretty down there. But yeah, so this is like a, a ghost town now, abandoned, or like what's what's going on here? Yeah, for the past hundred years or so, there hasn't been anybody any residents outside of like a lone caretaker or so. The town had five hundred different buildings. There was four thousand residents at its peak. We got like twenty left. You know. Wow. Wait. So what happened to the four hundred and eighty <laughs> buildings? Oh God. A lot of them have burned down over the years, washed away in like you know flash floods or something like that. Isn't it? Kind of horrifying being up here by yourself. You you've been alone here for a while, right? Yeah, almost four months. I came up here in mid March. When you're here for that long, things start to happen up here, you know. Whoa! Whoa! Wait! <laughs> that did, uh, that did did just go out, No. Are you sure? Who has a lighter? I got it. <laughs> Why does it go out? Because your nostril. <laughs> <laughs> I would say when we moved into the town, the town has a really rich history. Like I said, there used to be a murder week here. A lot of miners, if they didn't die above ground, they died, died down in the mines below. There's an infamous like, duel that happened over a bad hand, I guess, and there's still a bullet hole in the wall and a blood stain on the floor from that. So people were playing cards and then they yeah, just got Yeah, like a hand, they flipped the table, I guess, shot a guy, murdered him in broad daylight. Billy Crapo. So Billy Crapo had a little bit of an incident here. Oh, uh, I saw something about that. If you said a Crapo, like he haunts you. Yeah, it isn't like that. Yeah, okay, like don't like oh, what, what was that? What was that? You just said it. I didn't mean it. No, you just I said didn't it. Mean it. Billy Crapo uh, doesn't like, never like to be called Crapo. Sure. So if you say Crapo, he shoots you in the middle of the night. Well, I'm just saying, guys, yes, you've already said it like 15 times. <laughs> We're through it up already. Oh. Two. Oh. Oh. What's going on here? Dude, it's getting so dark on the camera too. Oh! Oh! Oh, no, no, no. oh shit! Wait, the so door, weird. all it's the like doors every... are closed though, so what is going on? It's like every time the light goes out, the camera gets darker. <laughs> that is good. <laughs> <laughs> There's some like weird business stuff that used to go down. <laughs> yeah, there was uh, there was four brothels. It's called Lola's Palace of Pleasure. Palace of Pleasure. Oh, it's not still open, is it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, how did they know that there was no more silver? Like, how did they make that guess that, oh, I think we're done here? Imagine, like, a giant block of silver, and then they mined it, and they just lost the vein, and they couldn't find it again. So they searched for a number of years, and you used to dig this way, you dig that way, you try to find this vein, and then they never found it. There's still an additional 500 million dollars worth of silver in the mountain, and that the lost vein of silver is still there. 30 miles of minery in the town. There's, somebody told me that there's enough wood in the mines to build the Empire State Building out of wood. But it's cool, for me it's almost like 
a scavenger hunt. You know, like I've never gone back in the mine and not found something, <laughs> a pocket watch that a miner dropped oh, that's you know, super cool, man. years ago. That's super cool. Or like a box of dynamite. Things to them that were garbage, let's say, like a 150 year old dynamite. That's crazy. Yeah. You know? yeah that's that's crazy. Like, so if you're driving down the road and you saw a backpack on the side of the road, would you turn around and pick it up? I, so if I saw that, that's a good question. Well, what if it was obviously a trash bag? And See, was, we have this experience on our way. Yeah. <laughs> you found your saw backpack. No, it was no, a trash bag. No, we, <laughs> we, thought, we thought it was an Adidas bag. So, what's the coolest thing you found? This letter of a miner writing to another miner about like what he had found that day. The human element of it made yeah. it close for me. We haven't found jeans yet. Jeans are the, the blue gold of mines. So they originally made jeans for silver miners. So Levi's first pair of jeans ever was in 1871. But you can find a pair of like original Levi jeans, they sell for $100,000 up in auction. You're saying if we find this amount of silver, we'll get 20 bucks. Right. If we find jeans, it's going to be over 100 grand. Let's go! Pound, 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 looking for jeans. My silver pants. Hey. Oh, oh, man. Man. Oh, man. Right. Could you tell us a little bit about where we're staying tonight in the bunkhouse? Like I was saying, there's a few hot spots, so to speak, as far as previous people have been saying here's experiences with the paranormal. The bunkhouse is a long hallway. There's three rooms on either side, six total rooms. The back left room is the room that almost everybody that stays in there has some type of uncomfortable experience. <laughs> <laughs> so there's like a, a dresser there, and he said that his stuff that he had put on the dresser was in the dresser, and he's a pretty sharp kid. Yeah. And so like, I believed him. And when I recounted that story to Robert, our, our caretaker, he's like, oh yeah, that's the common mischief that they play in the bunkhouse. And it, independently, people that don't know each other have all reported seeing a very similar Say apparition when they've been in there. You know. And then this one just blew out. Has that ever done that before? Not for that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you saying that? Why are you saying that? Let's go investigate for some jeans later. If you guys all see on camera that I'm not responsible for your deaths, so yes, we will go <laughs> search for. Uh, we we'll signed the waiver, right? Uh, <laughs> we will go check out some mines. Hey! Say that again. Brent showed you what? Brent just showed me this crazy old body. <laughs> Brent just. Body. <laughs> Brent, not body. Brent just showed me this crazy old bottle that was left here from the 1900s. No way! It's called hard seltzer. A wit claw? Witty claw. A witty claw? This must be poison. <laughs> Should we shotgun it? <laughs> <laughs> Did you notice? Know <laughs> Wait for it. Wait for it. I saw in his videos before we came here that he has guns. Just in case. Well, I think he's a nice guy. But, I mean, he's kind of dumb. No buts. <laughs> you said, but I mean, but yeah, this is cute. So the fact that he let us just walk around and just roam free is awesome. Though. This is a 150 year old rocking chair, and he's letting us roam free. That is awesome. <laughs> I really want that. Oh, is this silver? That's yes, it has to be, dude. So that's what we gotta look for in the mines. Yeah, Yo, Yo, where's the white claw, man? This lira was the town's general store. That's crazy. I'm just trying to imagine, like. I know, I can't even imagine. Like, that, like, like, yeah, people just strolling in here, buying stuff. Yeah, dealing. dressed up, like. Well, there was probably a bunch of miners here, so probably, like, dirty, like. Big like bearded dudes just come in here and drink some whiskey afterwards, like you know, fight and shoot each other after going to a brothel and yeah. fighting over. Yeah, they weren't fighting fists, they were fighting dinner. Yeah, instant that. Every time we say brothel, I have to get soup. Fly to Hawaii for eighty bucks? We can go home for eighty bucks. What? Dude, that's COVID prices. Dude, look at that tiny little handgun. Binoculars. Hydrogen peroxide. Who's trying to get f***ed oh, up? Wait, that's not me. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? So we just explored the general store. Pretty cool, actually. They had a lot of artifacts in there. I think we should uh, split up in pairs, and you guys maybe explore the bunkhouse, and we can oh. like, take... Do we get the bunkhouse? I don't want to go there. Corey's not going to go there. We'll take the Bellshaw house, which is right there. Bunkhouse, we can meet you there in a bit. Okay, because we're sleeping there, so... Oh, 
Come on down when you're ready. Hey, see you losers. We'll Yo, see you on the other losers. side. Bunkhouse rules. Team Bunkhouse. Get out of here, bunkers. <laughs> All of you guys. Bunk you. Bunk you. Yeah, bunk you in the ass, dude. Dude, that'd be tight. No, it's not as tight as mine. Hey, mine's vacant, bro. This house is where he said he needs. Okay, first of all, that hat is hard. That's a dope ass hat. That is so hard. Whoa. This doesn't look so bad, you know, except that there's no power and there's no one around to hear our screams. Other than that, it seems nice. Ooh, okay. Oh, that creepy hallway is definitely bad vibes. This is right where Brent, do you remember? Brent saw someone standing in the window in this living room. Creepy, creepy, creepy. How are we gonna sleep here, dude? That's the library over here. His ankles, though. probably where he sleeps in that room right there. I don't know how he does it, man. Every by night, himself. by himself. <laughs> this door is nailed shut. It is? Why? What? And look, they put glue on the bottom. That does not make any sense. Are we gonna get murdered? Um, After you, sir, you got this. Sorry, buddy. We'll just walk back, man. Didn't mean to bother you, man. There? Yeah. Yo, what if you got on my shoulders and then you stuck the camera up there and like turned it to look through? <laughs> Turn around, kid. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're gonna hold on to it. Me. Are you are you too high? Okay, you know what I was just thinking about? What? Was that um he was talking about how the drawers the ghost would put the clothes in the drawers and out of the drawers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We haven't seen the drawers yet in here. So, you're right. Could it be? Oh my god! Dude, you said that, that was so weird. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh my god! god. Oh, look at that thing, doll. Alright, so this is the room that we're not staying Yo, in. Yo, we're making this. Oh room. my fucking god! god. Wait, here we go. It doesn't fit all the way. Can you see? No, I'm gonna drop you. I can't see anything. I'm trying. I'm trying. I don't know if I got anything. Okay. You're good. You're good. That was a bonding moment, man. We were so much closer than that. Looking directly at the mattress! Oh my god! Okay, okay, so I swear to god, man, we are calling. What? Hello? Corey? Dude, Corey. Corey. Did you see Cole's Corey Boy? Holy fuck! No, 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 no. Come over here. Come over here. Corey Colby? Oh, wait. What the fuck was that? Off camera, was that that? I have no idea. Like, on or off camera, I have no idea. My heart's pumping. My heart's pumping. What the fuck was that? You guys have any bacon? Fuck you. Fuck you guys. Fuck you. Bacon. Fuck you. We're really hungry. <laughs> That's not funny, man. Go <laughs> fart somewhere. You <laughs> do not know what we just went through. You have no fucking <laughs> idea. Fuck you, 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 fuck you, fuck you. That's a lot of beef. Shit, actually, yes. shit is weird in there. So, are we sleeping here tonight, boys? Yeah. Yeah. Cody's no. like, nah. <laughs> so, you'd rather sleep alone in the Belcher house? Do you want to sleep with Brent or do you want to sleep with us? I want to sleep with Brent. Your choice. <laughs> us or them? I want to sleep with Brent. If Corey is to sleep with Brent, I get to sleep with Brent too. No. See, the house agrees. <laughs> you heard that? I heard that. Like, um... 
after that. Season three, Sam and Colby were supposed to become treasure hunters, and we still end up doing haunted shit. Every time. The part we read, there was like, actually there's a hotel, can we stay there instead, the bunkhouse? The hotel actually burned down uh, a couple days ago. A couple days? Yeah, it, um, oh wait, Sorry. What? wait, what? Like, just now? A couple days ago, in between when you guys first contacted me and now. Oh, that was a nice hotel. I woke up around 3 a.m. to what I thought was kids shooting off fireworks. And I looked out and the whole hill was illuminated. And I thought maybe somebody was shooting off flares just because my mind couldn't jump to the fact what was happening. And as I got to go out of a room, I just saw like a 60 foot wall of flames. And the whole hotel was on fire. The fire department came in about an hour and a half, but by that time it was completely gone, not even any of the structure left, just to the ground. Sad. And the way he said it was very sad. That's sad. This is home. Adventures tomorrow inside the mines. We have a lot more exploring to do, but it is one o'clock. We got here way late because we stayed around metal detecting for absolutely goddamn nothing. <laughs> I mean, dude, we almost found a nail earlier. We almost did find a nail. <laughs> dude, we found a coke cap. That's pretty cool. That's actually pretty good. That's you guys did? Cool. Yeah. Overall, I feel like Brent's a very, very nice dude, and I could see how like he could be wrapped up in this place. You know? I don't know. Even though it's like haunted. It's nice. And like, the sh <laughs> they don't know about this yet, but there's goats here too. Yeah, I'll yeah, show you them tomorrow. Oh. Guys, this is literally the first goat town we've been to, but we have a list. We have a lot that we can actually do. So if you want to see us do more stuff like this, treasure hunt in other places, leave a like right now. This gets 150,000 likes. We will guarantee you another one. So Also subscribe if you haven't because it's free. So why not? And if you like our videos, that would be subscribed. And you can just unsubscribe because that's free. Too. Subscribe to these guys too. They were dragging them and making them sleep in this bunkhouse. Ours cost 50 cents though to subscribe. Don't subscribe to them, just subscribe to their only fan. So wish us luck. We're gonna sleep here and then tomorrow morning we're gonna go in some horrifying mines underneath these mountains. Oh treasure hunting guy. Let's find that silver baby. 
We always like to, you know, have a little one-on-one -on -one talk with our audience since it is the Santa Claus Channel. It is the Santa Claus Channel. I feel like we're back now, dude. Yeah, it feels Season back three. In our moods. We haven't filmed for this channel like actually actively in seven months. Yeah, it's been a long time. So we really Kobe's gay. Yeah, huge. This. And the best way you can let us know is why, like we said, leave a like or like comment down below if you like this idea we're going with. Like this we'll is the stuff it. that like actually makes us genuinely happy. Like talking about Jake and Corey, and I was like, yeah, hotels are cool, haunted stuff's cool, but the reason why we got into this is to explore fucking awesome places like this that no one else gets to see. How many people have gone to these mines or slept in these like cabins? Like hardly any. Hardly any besides like you know hundreds of years ago, which is another crazy thing. It kind of feels like we're taking a step back in time. You know what I'm saying? There's no power here. There's no water here. Like no service. Like, we're like on our own. Nothing. Nowhere. nowhere. And if we tried to even drive down right now, we'd probably fall off a fucking cliff. This is like completely out of our comfort zone. Even although we love these explorer videos, like. Now I'm getting back to that like, oh god. Yeah, the Explorer is like <laughs> kind of difficult to fill. Yeah. And I love it. Yeah. 2017 vibes. Like I don't know how we're six times. Let's try. It's just weird that Brent has said, once you're here, like, you don't know, like, you'll be back. What? Do you guys also feel that same thing? Like, I kind of want to stay here now? Okay, we're going to pause this. <laughs> Alright, y'all, this is the end of this reaction video. Um, I was just thinking while I was watching this that I... Tuesday or Thursday, I don't know which day I'm going to post a video talking about, um, uh, I was talking about my favorite YouTubers last week. If y'all guys watched that video, if you haven't, go check it out right now, you know what I'm saying? Um, but anyways, like I was saying, um, I want to talk about one of the YouTubers that I, I, uh, requested for you guys to y'all you guys should go watch because I've learned things about them I mean about that person and I really want to tell you guys the truth about them so yeah usually I don't do this stuff like when I'm telling you guys to go you know to somebody else's channel I usually don't tell you not to go to the channel but like you will figure out probably Thursday or tomorrow it depends when I'm gonna post it probably Thursday so be ready for that video also I'm about to edit this video real quick and get it up for you guys because this video is obviously today is Monday so this is Monday's video that I'm doing right now so I gotta quickly edit it and get it up for you guys um yeah I think that's all I gotta say oh don't forget I'm still working on a new intro I think I got a visual in my head so I just have to do it now since it's almost September, technically, I'm going to let you guys keep the intro you guys have now, and I'll work on the new intro so you guys can have it for next month. Um, Sorry about that, by the way. But I'm going to end this video right here because we're already about to hit 30 minutes of this video. If you guys want to join the Daily Gang, you know I'm scant. If you guys want to... If you guys want to join the Daily Gang, you know what I'm saying. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button, you know. Join the family. Come on. We're almost at 40 subscribers. Matter of fact, I really think we might hit it probably this week. So, you know what I'm saying. Hit the subscribe button. Because we're just, I'm just dropping bangers. And I just want to show you guys my life. Because I'm a young adult just trying to show you how my life is. You know what I'm saying. Why not try to entertain you guys. And make sure you turn your notifications on so you get notified of every single I post. I mean, just click the bell, smack that bell. You know what you gotta do with that bell. Hit that like button, comment down below. It's for good vibes only. I love you guys so much. And I will see you on freaking Wednesday. I love you, babies, so much. Thank you so much for everything you guys do for me. Thank you for continuing to watch me. And thank you for just enjoying this. So, babies, I'll see you on Wednesday. Where's my clicker? Okay, I found it. <laughs>